Welcome back. So we had Postman to do this call that went over to the REST API, went down to the data access layer, got some code from the SQL using the NC framework, converted that into c -sharp objects, sent that back to the REST API, converted it into JSON, sent it over the wire and sent it down to Postman so that we could show it in Postman. Now we need to add a bit more in the web client for our service gateway because we want it to be converted into c -sharp again. So we kind of want it to do the same thing, go and grab the data, but when it comes back, I wanted the web client here to convert it into c -sharp objects just like we're kind of doing here with the NC framework, right? right? But this is from JSON into c -sharp instead. So how are we going to do that? First, let's install the web client into our actual data, uh, sorry, our actual uh, service gateway. So I'm going into the web client and I'm going to right click on the references on the person application gateway here, or DLL as I called it. Uh, I'm going to manage NuGet packages. This guy pops up right here. I'm going to search or browse for something called Web API Client, and the newest version is 5.2.3 right now, so I'll install that one. I'll give it a few seconds, I'll say OK, I'll say Accept, and this is actually all it takes. Now it's downloaded and installed. I could also have done the same um, by going in here and saying View, Other Windows, and saying Package Manager Console, and here I could actually, I just did the same earlier just to show you, I can actually go in and fire a command looking something like this. Install package Microsoft. So it's the same thing. It's just not with the UI instead, it's with the terminal. So if people start saying something like just do a install package something, you can do that through this package manager control that you, you can find like I just showed you. So the package we need is installed. Now let's figure out how to use it next time trying to make a read HTTP request for the back or for the web API. See you next time.